Okay, in these two questions, we're asked to write a polynomial function with rational coefficients in standard form with the given zeros. So I'm going to start with question number 13. These are the zeros of the function. In other words, this is where the graph is crossing over the x-axis. We notice we have a multiplicity at 1. And so to get these back into factored form, remember they are zeros of the function. So we could start by writing it like this and adding 1 to both sides, and that would show that x plus 1 equals 0. That clearly shows that that is a 0 of the function, and we could do the same thing with x equals 1 and subtract 1 from both sides to get it back into factored form. So our three factors are going to be x plus 1, and x minus 1 quantity squared. And so now it's, it's just a matter of multiplying these three out. We know that the first two, these are the difference of two perfect squares, a plus b, a minus b. And when it's in that form, when they're, con, when they're conjugates like that, the uh, template is going to be x squared minus b, a squared minus b squared. So the first two would multiply out to equal x squared minus 1. Next we're going to multiply that by x minus 1. Starting with x squared, we'll multiply it by x. We get x cubed times negative 1. That gives me negative x squared. Negative 1 times x is minus x. And negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And that would be the answer to question number 13. Now number 14, um, it looks a little bit tougher, and it is it's got its challenges. First thing we need to know is that if you recall that if one of your roots or zeros is an irrational number, then its uh, conjugate is, is as well. So we know that negative square root of 2 is also a zero of this function. In like manner, the imaginary root theorem says pretty much the same thing, that if you have an imaginary root, then its uh, conjugate is also a root. So positive i. So we have a total of four roots, which means this is going to be a, a fourth degree equation when we're finished. Uh, again, if we were to go back and put it in factored form, we would have x plus the square root of 2 times x minus the square root of 2 times x plus i times x minus i. And the nice thing about these um, four factors is that you have con um, conjugates in, in both uh, situations. So these two can be multiplied out fairly quick, and so can these. So I'm going to start with these two right here. It's, it's in the form a plus b, a minus b, which multiplies out to equal a squared minus b squared. So I'm going to get x squared minus the square root of 4, which is going to give me 2. So that's my first factor. And then in this second one, I'm going to get x squared minus i squared. And if you recall, we would never leave anything in the form of i squared. We trade that out for a negative 1. So very quickly, we're going to get x squared minus 2 times x squared minus negative 1, which changes this to an x squared plus 1. And now we're just simply going to multiply these two binomials. Starting with x squared times x squared, we get x to the fourth. x squared times 1 is plus x squared. Moving on to the negative 2, negative 2 times x squared is minus 2x squared. And negative 2 times 1 is minus 2. These two inside terms are like terms. So I'm going to combine them. A, neg a positive 1 and a negative 2 gives me a negative x squared minus 2. And that concludes the uh, lesson for these two questions.